Hi, I'm Steve Clapham. I'm here to continue my Accounting Red Flag series and detection tool number two is working capital ratios. So this is Kellogg's. Now, if you think about Kellogg's, it seems a very familiar brand. It's on my kitchen table every morning. My kids are eating their product. I therefore feel very comfortable about Kellogg's. And I am very comfortable about their products. But I'm much, much less comfortable about their accounting. And what you can see here is the Kellogg's quarterly day sales outstanding. So it's the debtor days. And you can see it's quite a noisy chart, but you can see that there is a trend up. It's much clearer if you look at the annual numbers. And I like to do this analysis, both looking at quarterly and annual numbers. And you can see in that chart that the annual numbers show quite a strong trend up. Now, I've slightly cheated because I've cut off the y-axis. So the y-axis doesn't start at zero, which is a very bad crime. But I wanted to illustrate to you the, the trend in a, in a clearer way. The issue here is that what I do is I take a very long trend. So I tend to take a 10, 15 year trend because then if there is any movement, I'm kind of zooming out and the, the, the upward or downward trend in the data becomes much clearer. And you can see that from the, you can see that from the Kellogg's chart. Here's Petitory Holdings. This is a famous fraud in the UK. It's a chain of coffee shops. And this is the inventory days in terms of sales. Doesn't look that great. But if you look at the inventory days versus cost of sales, you can see that the numbers are much higher, 90 days. Now, this, of course, isn't because they own 90-day-old cakes or 90-day-old croissants. No, when you look at the patisserie holdings accounts, they very clearly delineate between finished products inventory and raw material inventory. And it's the raw materials and consumables number that's very large. Now, when I looked at this, I didn't know if there was some form of consumable that was used in an oven in a bakery that was very expensive. So I didn't know whether the five million pounds in this raw materials inventory was a high or low number. So what do I then do? I want to look at another bakery and see what level of stock holdings they've got. So remember that 5291 number and remember that Patisserie Holdings had revenues of 114 million pounds. What I did was I pulled from Companies House in the UK, the accounts of Paul UK, a very similar business. And you can see there that Paul has a turnover of 35 million pounds and it's got stock of a quarter of a million. So Patisserie Holdings had sales three times the size of Paul, but it inventory 20 times. That sounds really odd. If you see rising trends of debtor days or inventory days, or if you see absolute high numbers, you should be very, very careful. That's it. I hope you've enjoyed that. And I'll see you for accounting red flags, detection tool number three, cash your earnings in another video.